Here we go. Hey everyone, I'm Rob Wilson. You're watching the Video Gadgets channel and we've done it. All right, I'm just gonna talk to the camera here. I'm not gonna do any preparation other than a couple of notes here, just to make sure I cover a few points and this is all gonna be ad-libbed. And if there's any mistakes and I stutter or fall over my words, which I often do, and you don't see all that because I edit it all out, then that's not gonna be the case in this video because I just want it to be as real and as genuine, as authentic as possible for what is a monumental occasion or should have been in terms of the Video Gadgets Journal re reaching 100,000 subscribers. When I started this channel, start making videos on this channel six years ago, I, I never expected I would get probably a thousand subscribers, let alone uh, 100,000 subscribers. And that's really the first thing to say that as monumental as it is, I'm now already 0.01% uh, I think. Is it? I can't remember. Whatever the percentage is, I'm already 100 subscribers, over 100,000 subscribers, and I've not even addressed the uh, YouTube audience here uh, if anybody is still watching my videos as a subscriber, like part of the core audience. Because a lot of my videos are evergreen videos, so people w wanting to know things about screen recorders and how to use the Galaxy S8 and how to use the iPhone 7 in particular, those videos have really continued to perform well on the channel despite me hardly doing any content for the last six months. And it's funny that I really sleepwalked into 100,000 subscribers. I think from about 85,000 subscri 85, subscribers onwards, I've not hardly done any videos and I've virtually not addressed you as a, as a um, interested, uh, rabid, wanting to know whatever uh, videos I was going to do, audience, and as you can tell, I'm already rambling. So, yeah, the, the apology here is that I was thinking of doing a live stream when I hit 100,000 subscribers, but it was Sunday night, and I think at about 11 o'clock, I was at 99,987 or something, and I thought, this is going to happen in the middle of the night, and I just can't stay awake that long. I have to work in the morning. We'll get onto that in a minute. And then I woke up at half past five in the morning. I must have had some sort of six YouTube sense about approaching that target. And it was 99,998. And I thought, oh, maybe I should just do a quick live stream just to at least be there when we reach this milestone. And as I was setting up the computer, I got two more subscribers and we're at 100,000 subscribers. And then I just lost all impetus and um, thought and realized that I needed to get ready for my actual job. Uh, for vidIQ a couple of hours uh, later. So yeah, generally at the moment, I have to be honest, I didn't know whether this was gonna happen when I took on my new role at vidIQ, uh, whether or not I'd be able to juggle the responsibilities of these two channels. And so far the answer has been no. vidIQ is all compassing. And let me stress here, I absolutely love what I do and the opportunity to work in a YouTube environment full time it's something I don't regret from where I was uh, having a full-time job and working part-time on VGJ and even more part-time on vidIQ. The, the priorities shifted with vidIQ becoming everything now about my uh, YouTube life, I guess. And I guess you could say that's kind of selling out, but uh, I'm sure if you were in the same position as me and you had the opportunity to uh, work for a company and improve your skills in all manner of things, uh, not just being able to knock out videos when you have a spare hour or two here and there to work on it uh, full time as much as possible. I'm sure you would do the same thing. So yeah, Video Gadgets Journal, as much as I would like to do screen recording videos, I just don't have the time. Like sometimes I can maybe squeeze in one or two as you've seen in the last couple of months when I have maybe a bit of spare time on a weekend. but. At the weekend, you know, I have a life and I want to spend it with uh, the people who are important to me rather than doing more videos. And other than trying to cram in some videos when the iPhone 10 came out, which I thought would uh, carry my channel a bit through the winter period, and it, and it did, but those videos didn't do quite as well as my previous big, you know, uh, Galaxy S8 videos and iPhone 7 videos. The success, really, of the Video Gadgets Journal, even though it was 
a six year project to get to 100,000 subscribers. More than half of that occurred in the last year. And that's when I did start to really ramp up the screen recording videos and I got the Galaxy S8 and I put out some content which really struck a chord with um, an audience and a lot of people watched them and they went to the top of the rankings and I think I was on about 48, 49,000 subscribers this time last year. So I doubled my subscriber base in not very long, I guess. Well, I, I increased it exponentially and going up to the middle of October, I think I was on 85,000 subscribers and then all of a sudden things just stopped dead and obviously vidIQ took over and as I say, I've been relatively sleepwalking uh, for the next uh, few months. So the success really is, I guess, to many of you who are watching right now who are still interested in my content from the past year. And of all the people I want to thank, it's obviously the more than 100,000 people who subscribe because you obviously lose subscribers over the course of your uh, YouTube life. So anybody who's ever clicked that red subscribe button and watch just one of my videos for one minute. Uh, thank you from the bottom of my YouTube heart. It really does feel inspiring to know that even I'm talking into this void of a room, which always feels difficult because I feel as if I'm just talking to this piece of plastic and a bit of glass in front of me. Someone who I can't see on the other end of this video is gonna be watching it and having some sort of value attached to the content because it, you've watched you've probably watched it if you subscribed you've watched more you've commented and that really does mean a lot to any video creator it's not just me i can assure you that when video creators really feel that passion and that energy and that enthusiasm coming from their audience it just encourages them to do more and more videos and that's what i was doing right up until the point uh, where uh, vidIQ came in and if you are following me on vidIQ i'm sure you can see my energy and my passion uh, for that project uh, as it is uh, right now. So yeah, the success of the channel has sort of been up and down. Uh, the last year was very successful. The last couple of months have just been slow. Uh, but before that, if anybody's been with me from the very start, if you can remember, I first started doing some test Samsung Galaxy S2 tip videos, I think in 2011. And then I got an Asus Transformer Prime at the beginning of 2012. So these are all Android devices, which many of you may not realize if you've been following my screen recorder stuff. And I produced content on on that tablet for a few months. Then I went on to the Nexus 7, the first one, and I was just slowly building up an audience and learning a little bit about how to use uh, video cameras and video editors, although I stayed with Windows Media Maker for God knows how long before moving up to Camtasia. And now I'm seeing Camtasia as a glass ceiling and probably need to upgrade to something else. And then there's a worry about um, taking five steps back to go 20 steps forward with a new video editor. But yeah, that's just all rattling around in my head as uh, these thoughts just come out onto the, uh, onto the camera here. Uh, and then I went through a plateau where after the Nexus 7, I think it was the Microsoft Surface and as a device that didn't do very well, my videos didn't do very well, and then life took over. I moved away from uh, most of my friends and my family when uh, this opportunity to move to Canada with my previous company came up, and uh, the opportunity to live here is just uh, magical and sensational, and I'm still very grateful to my previous company who allowed me to do that, and it kind of made me take a break, well, pretty much for about 18 months, seriously from YouTube, and then uh, as things settled down over here and my uh, now girlfriend moved over and we settled down, I was wanting to get back into video making and I think it was in 2015 when I started to ramp up again the content and it was the first, um, what was it, the first screen recording videos that really started to ratchet up the views and I found my niche and even though people were complaining about me doing screen recording videos over and over again, it's almost as if YouTube was sending the entire audience who were interested in that topic over to my videos and it really caused a, a, a good spurt in uh, my, uh, my videos. So uh, yeah, that's the brief history of time when it comes to uh, video uh, gadgets journal. I think I'm referencing that because Stephen Hawking passed away uh, today. and. Oh, 
Oh, was, was that his book? I can't remember. I might be thinking of Bill Bryson's book. Anyway, I'm on to now thank yous. So obviously I've already said thank you to every single one of you who's ever watched any of my videos. And I think my view count now is up around 30 million views. I know there'll be a lot of repeat views there, but to think that half the population of my home country, the United Kingdom, have potentially watched my videos or they've been viewed that many times, I just can't fathom it when I think about it now. It's unbelievable that somebody as hum with such humble ambitions was able to uh, have such an audience to watch so much content. And again, going forward, the people have committed more to the Video Gadgets Journal with subscriptions and contributing comments and uh, any collaborations I may have done in the past. Thank you to every single one of you uh, who has been on the, the journey with me. And, now I'll say the sort of last thank you for uh, my girlfriend Sarah, who probably has no idea I'm saying this, but uh, when she moved over, uh, she was always supportive of me continuing to make my videos and my content. And like it was, it was a two-year journey from maybe September 2015 when I would start making videos again to uh, October 2017 uh, when VidIQ offered me a position, and we talked about it, and I thought. I'm leaving a stable job to go into like a this tech world, the wild west of YouTube, and every step of the way, she has supported me and allowed me to now pursue and live my dream. And even though she has to get up in the morning and drive to work, I can just walk five steps from my bedroom to my office to uh, work. Uh, like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for allowing me to pursue that. And I hope that with um, the journey that we continue together, that we can, uh, I can repay you uh, every single day uh, with the love and support that I uh, give to you as well. So yeah, you might be teary at this point, Sarah, if you ever watch this video, uh, but there we are. Thank you very much, big thumbs up to you. And a big thumbs up to all of you. Like, I don't know seriously when I'll be back uh, on the Video Gadgets Journal, um, but here's one thing, it's not going away. Uh, YouTube's not going anywhere and uh, if things change and I have an opportunity to spend more time on the channel again then I certainly will do but at the moment I just can't make any promises. Um, I was hoping to do, as I said, I was hoping to do some Galaxy S9 videos but I don't think that's going to ship until I'm away travelling with VidIQ in Europe for uh, about two weeks. So who knows when those are going to come out. Uh, but that's just life and this is the, the journey that I'm on and uh, I'm loving every single minute of it. And I hope every one of you has loved every single minute of the Video Gadgets channel that you've watched in the past to get me up to 100,000 subscribers and you watch in the future however many subscribers I may get in the future. And of course I will be uh, applying for the silver play button and when that does arrive I'll be very keen to uh, show it all to you. That's me rambling for long enough. And I'll leave you with the usual tagline. Enjoy the rest of your tech day, and I'll see you whenever. Bye for now. I do hope the record button was on. <laughs>